Ravish Kumar of India will now deliver his response. Namaskar. Vice President of the Philippines, Maria Leonor Robredo. Former President Fidel V. Ramos, trustees of the Ramon Magsese Award Foundation, distinguished guests, members of the Magsese family, fellow awardees, ladies and gentlemen. My world has changed since the announcement of the Ramon Magsese Award. Your hospitality has been overwhelming since I landed in Manila. The warmth and affection I have received from the Foundation is no less than the honor conferred upon me. You invited me as a guest and made me feel at home. Now I feel like a part of your family. Usually, <laughs> award ceremonies are brief affairs, but this is different. It has been a humbling experience and makes me feel more responsible than before. Inequality is mostly measured in terms of health and economy, but the time has come for us to take cognizance of knowledge inequality as well. When resources for quality education have confined to, to a few cities, we cannot, we cannot even begin to imagine what are the repercussions of this inequality in smaller towns and villages? Clearly, the source of knowledge for a vast multitude is the propaganda machine of WhatsApp University. One cannot entirely blame today's youth since they have been denied quality education and information. It becomes all the more important to evaluate the crisis of media in this context. If media too begins to function like the WhatsApp University with fake news and fake knowledge, what then would be the consequences for society? It is a good sign that India's citizens have begun to understand this. That is why the congratulatory messages that I am receiving are also replete with worries on how the media has turned rogue in India. Therefore, while I am happy for myself today, I am also filled with sadness looking at the state of the profession I represent. Indian media is in a state of crisis, and this crisis is not accidental or random, but systemic and structural. Being a journalist has become a solitary endeavor as uncompromising journalists find themselves being forced out of their jobs by news organizations and those corporate owners are never questioned. Nevertheless, it is heartening to see that there are still some who continue to put their lives and careers at risk to practice honest and meaningful journalism. Some women journalists are speaking out and managing to survive on freelance earning. With the internet still shut down in Kashmir, most major news channels went along with, the gov with government's stand. Yet, there are some who have dared to report from within that shutdown and face the wrath of the army of trolls. While institutional journalism is facing a crisis, Individual journalists are struggling to survive and question authority. Can we restore the sanctity of the news? I do hope audiences will once again realize the value of truthfulness in reporting and the diversity of voices and opinions because a democracy can thrive only as long as its news is truthful, information is truthful. I accept the Ramon Magsese Award. I accept it on behalf of all those readers and viewers who continue to live, their, live in areas of knowledge inequality, but have a thirst for good and truthful information and knowledge. 
Many young journalists realize this challenge. I am confident that in times to come, they will be able to restore the meaning of true journalism. It is possible that they may lose the battle, but sometime resistance is not a matter of choice. Not all battles are fought for victory. Some are fought for simply to tell the world that someone was there on the battlefield. I accept this award on behalf of all such journalists, and I thank my millions of viewers of NDTV. I thank my wife, life partner Noena, my two lovely daughters, Tanima, Tanisha, and childhood friend Anurag. Once again, I thank the Raman Maxese Award Foundation, Jahin. Mm-hmm. <laughs>